Hello everyone, welcome back to our React blog exercise. So in this tutorial, I will teach you how to make our uploaded image and place our image URL into our React queue. In the last tutorial, we have done uh, uploading our features image from our Firebase storage and save the download link in our Firebase file store. And this moment, we will use the same technique by using our react queue elements so let's get started in order to make our react queue to support our uploaded image as the image source not the base 64 string so we need to modify our react queue modules here uh, we have decided some modules in here just like we can use our heading 1 heading 2 and etc and in this time, we want to make our React queue to support our custom image upload. In here, we can enter our handlers. So the handles is used to our custom handlers. And in here, we enter image. For image, we will call our new method call queue image callback. That's why we need to uh, create our callback here. After we click the image button, we will call this method. So we scroll down here and we we'll, we'll agree to create in here. So we first make it to an arrow function. So this method is going to handle our image input. And what we are going to do is we want the image is going to compress after before we upload this image to the file base because for the article image we don't want to uh, people upload the image is too large so we need to make our image is compressed before we go to the file base storage so we go to our terminal and install the package so we are going to install the uh, npm package called compressor js which is used to compress our image and convert our image into different type so we npm install compressor js so after the installations so we go back to our code and start our upload image So after we have installed our compressor JS, we first need to import. So we go to the top to our new article.js. We import compressor from compressor JS. So after we have imported, so we go back to our function. So in our Q call bed, image call bed, we first need to handle our image, how to upload the image. So firstly, we enter, create a new variable called input, where this is, we need to create a element of input. Because when we click the button, we will run the method. We don't know whether this input is an input. In other words, we need to make the hand we need to make the function think that yes, I'm going to upload our image, so please make a input field for me. And also we need to uh, put some attributes in this input. So we type input dot set attribute with the type which is file because we are going to upload the image also we set the attribute except to image only which means we only want the user to upload image last but not least we want when the user select the image the input will kick for us automatically so that we don't need to handling uh, 
the further progress. And also we built a new variable called file, which will receive the input of values, uh, input files uh, from seal. And also we need to uh, create our own chain method of this input when the user is selected the image this on chain method will be coded and firstly we want to compress our image before we upload it to our file based storage so we need to create our file compress functions we first create a new variable called compress state so the compress state will receive the result from the file compress functions in this function we would like to input our file which we have received to these functions so we take the from file and place it in the packet and we go here and start creating our file compass functions to make it it's very simple because we have import our compressor so we can call the compressor to handle the file compress very easily so firstly we have received the file and because we want to know whether the compress is success or slow so we will return a promise so we return a new promise with a resolve and reject and in this promise we will do the compressions in here so we can easily call a new compressor object in here and in this bracket we will pass two things the first thing is we're going to pass our file in here and the second thing is the parameters of these compressors. And for more information about the compressor options, please visit the link on the description below. So in here, I can set the result will return a file object, not the uh, from where is the string object. So and also we can set the quality. We want the quality to a half of the image so we can save the storage from our file based storage. And also, we can set the maximum width and height. This is also we want to save our storage. Then we are going to handle the return function of this compressor. In the compressor, we have two callbacks will be called. The first ring is success. When the file is compressed, we will return a, a callback called success. And this success, we want to return our promise by using resolve. So we can return a resolve object and we set the success to true and we set our file where is the parameters of the success what if there is an error so we can set a other callback called errors in the errors we will receive the error message so we can easy to return a resolve to false and we will show the message from the error error functions okay so we back to our callback function here so when we on change method is coded and we were going to compress our image after the image is compressed we will receive the compress state so if the compressed state is success what we are going to do yeah we are going to do the similar things 
from our upload image callback. We set the UUID as a file name and we upload the image to our Firebase storage. So we copy it and paste it inside the success field. But we need to change something. In here, we are putting the file in here from to the uh, storage. But this time, we want to put the file with the compressed file. So we can replace the file into a compressed date dot files. So this compressed date dot file is the same thing from our file compress functions. This one, okay. So after we can put the file, we will save a snapshot, and the snapshot we will receive the download link. But this time we are not going to resolve a promise for the functions. In other words, we are going to insert this image to our React Queue elements. So how it works? Remember we have two our reference in our React Queue elements. This reference we can call it from calling this dot queue. We can call this object to insert our image from the source from our source file in our Firebase storage. So how we call the queue object. We first let the queue variable, which is this dot queue dot get editor, and we want to set get the range of the queue element. So we call queue dot get selections with true. So this range variable. You're going to store all the admin orders in a queue object. In other words, if we want to insert the image on the top, so we can set the range to zero. Otherwise, uh, the range is our cursor pointed at. So we want to insert the image in our cursor positions. So last but not least, we call the queue object to insert a bed. So we use range.index, which is the location of our cursor in the queue element. So what we are going to insert is a image object with the SLC is a download URL. So here we go, we finish the callback from a queue image callback and we set the image and we first compress the image and we put the image to the Firebase storage and last but not least we insert to our queue element. So let's go back to our Google Chrome to see what happened. Okay we go back to our Google Chrome and trying to insert the image from our queue and we select this one and let's see what happened okay so it seems nothing happened so we go back to our code to fix the problems so we go back to our code here so we and we take the image we we get the file oops so it should be uh the line in here should be uh inside the onChange method because we when we onChange the input we will get the file not the uh not it before so when we onChange the method we can get the file and first make the file to compress and we use the compress days to upload to the firebase storage so we go back to our chrome Okay, so we try again when we click the uh, image button and select the image. So you can see our state is success and the file is blown. 
Okay, so you can see the image is inserted in our Q element. When we use uh, our debug tools to select, you can see the image source is from our Firebase storage. So thank you for watching for this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make the TTS sound, how to insert a sound audio in the Q element. So please stay tuned. Qfricity is a self-learning platform with knowledge-based recommendation systems, providing a personalized learning experience for the self-learner and the school students. People could share their knowledge and exchange for the rewards. We are doing the next generation learning tools for the next generation of learners.